Greetings. It is I, the Great One himself. Cynical Libertarian Society, C-Y-N-L-I-B-S-O-C dot com. On the interwebs. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Oh, so tired. What? the fuck is wrong with people these days? I got... I got people I'm working with who can't stop text messaging long enough to do their fucking jobs. I mean, I'm watching... One guy, he's trying to wrap up a piece of equipment with shrink wrap while another person is leaning on the piece of equipment he's trying to shrink wrap, texting on his cell phone. We got this other one that when she's working, as soon as she finishes what she's doing, she pulls out the phone and starts texting. And then you have to go over there and tell her to do the next thing. And then she'll do the next thing. And then she pulls out the phone and starts texting. It's the smartest generation ever. They're the future of America. What the fuck is up with customer service? I have sent so many emails to companies looking for stuff. It's like I send them an email. It's like, look, I'm looking to for this thing, for this equipment, for these supplies, whatever. I want to buy this stuff. I want to give you money. And I, I get no fucking response. This girl I work with was on the phone to one company, and we wanted to buy some stuff from them. And she's like, and she says to them. We need a large number of these, and we need them really soon. We need like 180 or something of these things. And she says, you know, can you call your warehouse and see if you've got that many? And the person on the other side of the phone says, no. And she's like, you mean you can't call your warehouse to find out how many you have in stock? And the person's like, no, we can't. And she's just like, she says, oh, okay, you know, and just hangs up the phone. I mean, it's like people are calling we're fucking calling people and saying, we want to buy 180 things from you. Can you call your warehouse, find out if you have 180 of these so we can give you money for them? And people are saying, no, we can't do that. I'm sending emails telling people, I want to buy hundreds of dollars, maybe even thousands. I don't know for sure because nobody will give me a fucking price quote. I want to buy hundreds, possibly thousands of dollars worth of equipment from fucking corporations. And nobody will even fucking return my email. And to an extent, I blame statism. I blame statism for all of this. Statism has turned these children into zombies who can't function without a cell phone. And statism has turned the businesses and corporations into fucking corporate welfare queens. I mean, it's just like corporate welfare is no different than ghetto welfare. Why go get a job why marry a man who has a job when you can just make babies with random men and get paid money for it and stay at home? But if you're a corporation, why go to the trouble of making products that people want and selling those products to people when you can just get bailed out by Obama? Again, the automobile corporations. Why the banking corporations? Why manage your business in a fiscally responsive way when all you have to do is fail massively and then wait for 
the Lord and Savior, Hussein Obama, to come and bail you out with tax money. Welfare, whether it's ghetto welfare or whether it's corporate welfare, it all leads to the same thing. It leads to incompetency. It leads to waste. It leads to ignorance. It leads to stupidity. It leads to laziness. Fuck. On the good side, I did. I've been talking lately about girls. One of the girls, the one that I, I mentioned. Let's see, where am I? Girl B. Was it girl B or girl A? I've lost my list. I, I have so many girls saying, dude, I was going through, dude, dude, dude. <laughs> That's what I just, I'm like, dude. I was going through emails from over a year ago and I saw messages I had sent to some girl named Dawn. I have no idea who the hell Dawn is. I love going through old emails and finding emails to people that I don't even remember. It always cracks me up when that happens. So I have no idea who the hell Dawn was or is. None. No idea who this chick was. I suppose if I had been smart, oh no, I it was just text messaging, so I didn't even have an email address to try to stalk her. Or I could have typed her email address, I mean her phone number into Google and seen what comes up. Anyway, girl B. Girl B is on vacation right now visiting her parents out of state but we've been texting and we're going to get together when she gets back despite her having a boyfriend and then last night I went out with another girl who also had a boyfriend has a boyfriend and I just told her that that I didn't want to hear about her problems and I try not to hold it against her and she said cool so anyway that's that's the girl situation I'm really just really fucking tired right now. I'm tired from working too fucking much. I'm tired from having too much to do. Because I don't get a fucking welfare check. I don't get ghetto welfare. I don't get corporate welfare. I have to be competent. I have to fucking earn my way through life. I'm tired of dealing with fucking mentally retarded employees. And I'm tired of dealing with mentally retarded business owners. And employees at other businesses, when somebody sends you a fucking email and says, look, I'm looking for this, can you get it, and how much fucking money will it cost? I mean, if you can't do it, at least write back and say, no, we're not going to get that for you because we're assholes. Or something. Just fucking, fucking acknowledge it. Jesus fucking Christ. You know, and then you people want your fucking bailouts and you want to talk about customer service and all this other shit. And the fucking holidays are coming with all of you fucking Christmas advertising and fucking Christmas songs. Fucking hate Christmas songs. <laughs>